anybody still follow Quinn? Or Quasi? I know Aphrodite does, but... The more and more time passes in the realm, the less and less I have to say. Probably at some point, I'll just stop talking altogether. What's up with the satellites and whatnot? I hear stuff is going on with those. Are the aliens here now? Have the aliens arrived? They're here to kill the AI? Elections should be done by YouTube polls. Just have the candidates make a video. You know, they can get up there. They can they can say their bit, and then at random, subscribers can make polls, whichever polls they want. YouTube polls, and the winner will be determined by that.
book right now about a guy who, in this fictional book, this guy makes an assassination. The president gets assassinated, right? But he doesn't die. And it turns out that the guy who shot him used wax bullets that would injure him, but they wouldn't kill him. Uh, 
it's changed a lot for me since then. It actually has changed a lot. And I'm grateful for having uh, the uh, having more people around, more so-called real ones. I made that video before I ever heard of the term NPC. NPC came long after I made that video. I'm feeling a bit uh, restless, got some restless feet syndrome going on, which harkens back to that video. is happening though somehow slowly there is a blending happening it's like if you were to imagine the economic disparity that was predicted back when they were talking about the disappearing middle class and if you imagine that we've reached that disparity uh, in a fairly extreme fashion at this moment in time then compare the people who are aware versus the people who are uh, matrix children of the matrix before a couple years ago I didn't ever see blending but now even on something like a chess forum hear people talking about things that uh, they just wouldn't have before. I think people are more so realizing that, like Og always says, that it's a giant show. It's just a giant show. The only thing that makes it not a show is the idea of death. That's the only thing. That's it. And we don't even really see that. Like we don't we don't see much of that. I know you hear about it and you hear stories and you hear about war and you hear about genocide, but you look back within your own memory. How many dead people have you actually witnessed? How many people have you seen actually die? I've seen a few dead people. I know people do die, but generally speaking, um, it's hidden. Even the inquiry, a self-inquiry into what that means for you and for everybody else, is uh, it's whitewashed. It's hidden behind ritual and uh, somber. somber clothing and songs and it's always treated as if it's this just 
horrible thing. You know? People wear black to funerals. Now, if you consider what death means in, in the forest, because death happens there all the time. Trees are dying, animals are dying, insects are dying by the billions. Things are eating each other. There's death and rebirth every second. And there's no mourning. <laughs> there's no lamenting and tearing of sackcloth. And... There's just none of it. Even when, uh, when a lion's eating a gazelle, I've seen pictures, videos even, of a, a cat, a large cat, eating a deer or a gazelle or something. And the thing that's getting eaten is just sitting there looking placid. It's not upset, it's not crying, it's not trying to run away anymore. Maybe it ran away, you know, until it got caught. But then it, the, the animal knows what's going on. And it's just, I'm pretty sure they get uh, all of these chemicals released. And uh, the pain isn't so bad. It's made to be not a traumatic thing. Or else, you know, like with cat, with small cats, with house cats, they'll... Unless they're lazy-ass house cats that like just playing around and fucking with food. If they're wild cats, then they, they kill the thing immediately. They break its neck. Like, cruelty doesn't exist in nature. Humans like to feel so special about everything, and they all, all of us want to feel like we're the most special thing, we're the most special beings that are around. And so we make a big to-do about every single action that we take. Or we used to, we don't even really do that anymore because we've allowed the beast system to overrun everything and now, <laughs> you know. Even so, people, generally speaking, want to simply be happy. They want to be taken care of and have their needs met. The basic needs met. I don't think most people are, like, lusting after wealth and power and riches and all this. This is, this is a special kind of human. Or maybe not a human at all, seeing that we're some sort of an interdimensional mixing pot. Likely... Everyone uh, in their life form before they came here is something inconceivable here. Maybe some people are rep reptiles, some people are insectoid beings, some people like Aurora, abstract coloring. And it's just energetics that come and animate the body. Taryn, the, the dude on Facebook, said directly today, or yesterday, someone asked him, is this the upside down? And he said yes. And it is. It's the inverse reality. And it's hard to understand it because it's perfectly inverse. Just like when you're in regular reality, it's perfectly natural and everything happens how it's supposed to. Here, everything perfectly happens in uh, opposite ways. It's perfectly um, dualistic and uh, paradoxical, perfectly paradoxical, perfectly frustrating. The realm is perfectly the way that it was designed to be which is inverted. And so therefore all of the things that are preached on the corners and stuff, people for the most part put one face out and then they do something else. Companies do the same thing. <coughs> Politicians do the same thing. And really, those of us who get upset about this perhaps shouldn't be getting upset because if it is inverse, then that's, that just means everything's working flawlessly as it should be.
to you. And everyone at the core of themselves knows this as well. If you 
consider beings that have been around literally forever. Then you might uh, have a better time understanding why they look so insane. Even the simple notion, okay, the sim very simple notion of a being decides after being around for billions of iterations, billions of different life forms. What if said being gets tired of it? He's like, fuck it, don't want to exist anymore. <laughs> I'm over this game, you know? The last billion times was enough for me. And being does whatever he or she needs to do to disappear. And say somehow, for some reason, they didn't just go into an endless sleep where this whole trauma and work and uh, endless lineup of bullshit didn't disappear. But they didn't get to that place where it all disappeared and there wasn't any problems whatsoever because there wasn't anybody to have them. And you, they find that they pop back out somewhere else in the realm. Contrary to what they stated that they wanted or that they felt was correct for them. That is, that's a problem. If people can't do that, if beings can't do that, that's a problem. Because self-consciousness is not just necessarily some great gift. It just isn't. That was something that I had to deal with during all of my ego death stuff and dark night of the soul stuff. I had to deal with that. It was intensely traumatic. Imagine a being has lived numerous, numerous lifetimes and say they had tried their hand at disappearing and didn't work, you know, they just came back in some other form, then <laughs> you can imagine what sort of appearances this being is going to take at some point and what kind of shenanigans they're going to be pulling, you know? You can only imagine. And this is not even talking about the forceful stuff, the, the dickish stuff, the imposing yourself on others stuff, that's not even taking into account that. That's just talking about the very simple idea of a being being self-conscious. That's a problem. It just is. It's in me. I know it. I've been there. I've dealt with it. And I'm okay with it right now, but at a certain point, that's that's what enlightenment is even about, is beings get tired of thrashing around on the wheel forever. They just get sick of it. And if you retained your memories, then you would be really even more sick of it. salvation always lies in meditating. Always. It's never anything other than that. It's, it lies in meditation and being present. Never has been anything else. Because all of the things I just mentioned, even the idea of multiple lifetimes, that's mental. Multiple lifetimes is mental. It's a mental concept. Unless you are currently inhabiting two bodies at once, then you're talking about memory. Possibly, possibly memory. Possibly just a theory. So really, for me, when, when I get down to it, it's about going into the center of the mystery, which is the present moment. 
the only thing that can withstand eternity without going insane or getting to one extreme or the other, the only thing that can survive that is the purity of the present moment as it presents itself. Nothing else survives it. Not that other things can't be tried, because they are tried. Everybody always tries to do things. They try to set their lives up, they try to plan, they try to do this, they try to do that. None of it survives. None of it ever has survived. I'm gonna try to actually stop it on 33.33. And it would have to involve a trick because if I stop it exactly on 33.33, when I upload it, it will be one second off. But the problem is, I don't know whether it's a second early that I should stop it or a second late. <laughs> and I never ever try and, <coughs> I never try and stop videos <coughs> on a certain time or upload at a certain time or anything. So this is something kind of new. I've done it like three times out of all the videos I've made. So I'm gonna try to stop it at 33.33, just because. You know, that's why I don't say things because <laughs> it's been gone over so long, you know, like, you gotta innovate at some point. Incapable of repetition, right? Yes. <laughs>